Okay, let's put one more example. Now this example involves curvilinear motion. Okay. Now we have a wrecking ball, okay, and a boom. Okay. Now there's a rope that attaches these uh, this wrecking ball to the top of the boom. Now the rope is 40 feet long, and it swings okay, this way back and forth okay, at 30 degrees from the center line, from, from the uh, vertical line, okay, each way. And the ball weighs 180 pounds. At the top of the swing, it's position C. Bottom of the swing is position D. Okay. Now, position B is just anywhere in between the uh, two top positions. Okay. At the bottom of the swing, the velocity is given. VD is given as 18.6 feet per second. You're asked to find tension, T, inside this rope at the top of the swing, C, and bottom of the swing, D. So find tension. And you should expect the tension to be different at the, bottom, at the top of the swing and bottom of the swing. Okay. So, now we involve different kind of coordinate system. So, let's go ahead and set it up. Step one, coordinate system. So, recognize that this has a constant radius of curvature, which is 40 feet. So, maybe a more convenient coordinate system is tangent normal. Okay. Next step, draw a free body diagram and kinetic diagram. So you draw the wrecking ball at any position. This uh, maybe let's just say at position B. This make it more general. For a free body diagram, draw the forces acting on this wrecking ball. Now keep in mind that you don't draw any any attachment. Okay, just draw this particle. So I'm not going to draw it to the rope, okay? But instead, I'm going to draw the forces acting on this ball. So, what's going on inside this rope? Well, there is tension, right? The tension goes this way, okay? And then also, obviously, we have weight, right? 180 pounds. And that's all. These are the only two external forces acting on this free body. Can I diagram? You draw the acceleration in each of the principal directions, T and N direction. So, for T direction, we have AT, tangential acceleration. Normal direction, we have AN. Okay? And to make a right angle. And for AN, you know that from before V equals to V squared over rho, where V is in the same direction as AT, tangent direction, right? Tangent to the path. Okay. So now, this is the free body and kinetic diagram, and we can move on to the next step, which is Newton's second law. F equals MA. So now we apply this vector equation in each of the two principal directions. However, now recognize that the unknown here is T, tension. Now tension is already in the normal direction, UN. Okay? And UT is this way, at this position B. Okay? So, we only need to consider the normal direction, okay, before we solve for the tension. So, for normal direction, so sum of forces in the normal direction equals m a n. So, left hand side, just look at a free body diagram. Extract all the forces in the normal direction. So now we have T positive T, because T already points upward, same direction as the UN direction. Minus, now we have this weight. And this weight can be decomposed into normal, WN, 
and WT component. So, here the second term is negative of WN. And it points downward in negative UN direction. And that's all for the left hand side. Right hand side, mass times AN. AN is V squared over rho. Okay? And we can just keep going. So, T, okay, that's the unknown. Keep it on the left hand side, move everything else to the right hand side. So, that's my WN plus, now mass can convert it to weight, right, which is W thereby G times V squared over rho. Okay. Keep going. T equals WN is my W, what is this? Let's call this angle theta. So, that's cosine theta plus W over G times V squared over rho. Okay, so now this is the equation that you can use to solve for this tension at both positions. Okay, so look at this. Weight is constant. Theta, okay, just go from 0, 0 here to 30, right? And G is constant. V Okay, it's different at each position, but at position C, velocity is zero. The bottom of the, uh, the swing, D, velocity is given. So, this is taken care of. Rho is just 40. So, we're all set. Next step is plug and chuck. That's all. So, let's do some plugging and chugging. At C, what's going on? So apply this equation. So tension equals this top position. So weight is just weight. So 180 pounds. That's a constant. Cosine of 30 degrees. Okay. Plus this term, which is okay, 180 divided by 32.2 times. Now V, however, at top of swing is zero. Okay, zero square. So okay, I don't even have to write the rest of it. Okay. The whole term is zero. Right? So boom. Goes out. So crunch numbers. This turns out to be 155.9 pounds. That's all. At point D, what's going on? T equals 180 times cosine of zero degrees now, okay, at the bottom of the swing, plus 180 to 2.2 times V is given as 18.6 feet per second squared, divided by 40. Now you crunch numbers, okay, keep in mind that cosine zero is one, so yes, 228 pounds. Yeah. Okay, so the difference in these two is the second term right here, right, which is this term right here. Okay, the v square over rho term. Okay, at the bottom of the swing, we have the extra contribution. Okay, so we result in the higher tension force.